Oh hi there Timozon. So there seems to be this common misconception that Kyogre, because of the water cycle, isn't as dangerous as Groudon, which is entire bullcrap. It's not true, because in the Pokemon universe, the water cycle does not apply. I mean, yes it does, but Pokemon have been known to create things out of nothing. A really good example of this is in a library uh, in Pokemon, I'll just have on screen which library, there's a lot of library, not really, there's just one. In a library in Pokemon, it is referenced that Arceus created an entire universe, crafted it with 1,000 arms out of nothing, and was even born from an egg from nothing. That is nothing being converted to something. Another example of this in the Pokemon movie, the sec uh, third one actually, uh, Entei. An entire Entei is crafted by a bunch of unknown who just want to grant a little girl's wish. Unknown are really, well, as known, uh, are unknown, and it's really hard to talk about them because there's not much known about them, and it's kind of a weird topic, but it still proves Pokemon can, in the realm of Pokemon, can create things out of nothing. So the water cycle cannot apply to Kyogre because it definitely has attributes that mean it draws power from a, an unknown source, of course, but it draws power and creates water out of nothing, thus expanding the sea mass, thus causing problems such as, um, well, causing problems like Groudon would if it was dehydrating the atmosphere, causing tons of problems. So the water cycle does not apply, because if Groudon can just burn everything up, then Kyogre can just soak everything up, because in Pokemon, things happen out of nothing, things are created from nothing. In the Pokemon Platinum, Diamond, and uh, Pearl games, an entire universe is threatened to be created out of nothing by either Di Dialga or Palkia, or stopped here in by, Gir by Giratina, from nothing. In the games, they are a lot stronger than they are in the anime, and still in the anime, the Pokemon were able to create an Entei out of nothing. In the games, Dialga and Palkia are speculated to be able to create entire universes from nothing. It's not like they like reused this one, unlike in the anime where they could barely send Ash and team back in time. It is highly referenced that Kyogre and Groudon are or highly, uh, what do you call it, word for it. It is highly speculated that Kyogre and Groudon are near equals in power. Thus, the water cycle theory is entire bullcrap. It's just a running gag, it's just a joke. It has no actual value when you think about how Pokemon actually works. They create nothing, and make nothing into something. It's like, Giratina is... No, Giratina is all about antimatter. I don't know how antimatter works, but even a Pokemon is made for using antimatter. Also, side note, Giratina would probably really dislike uh, Kyogre creating mass in its alternate reality by creating mass in the real world, but whatever. That's an entirely different argument. So, hope you guys enjoyed. That was a little Pokemon theory thing that I was thinking about while I was working out, and this isn't the most composed video ever, but it's a solid point. Pokemon make shit out of nowhere. That's just how it is in the games, in the anime. In the manga, even more so, because the manga is the best resource for Pokemon. I mean, it's the most entertaining resource. Anyways, bye!